at Tall Puddle Marks Festival and I love it because it's where trade unionism was born and it's the reason that we're all standing in this field today. I think it's quite good. I met some proper old fashioned hippies last night with my dad and we were sat around a fire playing some music. There's the music which started last night and there's all the various stalls meeting people from the trade union movement from all across the country. I knew that it was like a political festival. I wasn't sure what actually was here, what was going to be. Everyone's got a different story, whether they work in a factory, in a supermarket, whether they're on a fixed term contract or a zero hours contract, whether they're a student or a reside person, they've all got something to contribute to the movement. It keeps me active, it means that I'm fighting for a better country, as well as better workplaces, and for my colleagues to reap the benefits and be part of the union as well. What's great about it is that we've got so many people here from the GMB, from various regions, Northwestern Irish, Yorkshire region, Southern region of course, We've also got a young members section here. I've met officers who I've known for 30 years as well. And watching last night, people sitting together and having a chat and having a beer and younger people listening and hanging off every word of some of the older people who've got lots of experience. But then the older people saying, but you're our future now. Look, look, look what this T-shirt says. Proud past, bright future. That's what it's about. And this is one young lady over here. Would you like to step in and say hello? <laughs> no. You're on the spot. <laughs> I live in London. You live South in London. London. Annie. First time down here, Annie? Really? Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? It's great, yeah. Well, it's my first time being here and it's, it's like home away from home. It's very calming, like we were discussing it the other day, you can leave like your stuff in your tent and you feel safe because it's GMB and GMB is a family. It's instinct to trust them all. We've come down this weekend, uh, we, we came on the Thursday, and we're sort of trying to run a bit of a history school for young members so they can learn about the history of the labour so, movement. Um, as Tim wrote and Paul Money say, young members aren't the future, we are the present and the union's getting older but we're bringing it back down now. Look, we have more young members here next year than our fogies like me because young members are the future of the union. Well Thanks very much. Sure, to you. Well done. Well done. Well done. I've been involved just over two years in GMB and members. I signed up and I went to Summit in Manchester where I was elected comms, where I spent a year doing social media for the your members and then I was elected secretary last November where I organise meetings, do minutes and just get involved in all the fun. We're actually in Tolpuddle where they live so we got to see the tree and the churches and the buildings that they spent the time in and this is one of the fields where they actually work. It's like a living museum but it's it's grown with the time. I mean you just sort of brought home some of the, you know because you read about the story and you have a vague idea of the story. When you see it all in front of you it makes it much more real how much harder it was and how much more they were putting on the line. You know, when I joined GMB, I went on the website and I started a direct debit. You know, I didn't have to meet in the woods or in someone's cottage and take a secret oath. The young members are over here in certain workplaces and certain branches and the old members are over there in retired members branches. And, you know, when we get together, we always have a good talk. And I think we quite quickly find common ground with each other. My generation had it good because of our forefathers with the health service and a welfare state. Today, the youngsters got a rotten deal. Mm, definitely, mate. Definitely. And we should be supporting them. Just as my peers supported me. What do we want? £10 an hour! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? £10 an hour! When do we want it? Now! Yeah, so we'll be going to the Martyrs Museum and just learning a bit more about the history of it. So we know the basics, but I think today we're going to be learning a bit more in detail about the Martyrs cause and what led them to stand up for their rights and form that union. So Tollpuddle is this village and the Tollpuddle Martyrs are a group of six agricultural labourers who worked on the land around here. And we gather here every year to commemorate and honour the martyrs because this place is seen as the birthplace of modern trade unionism. You come here and you hear the story of them six men that were transported halfway across the world for just being people. And it, it, it lights a fire inside you and you start burning up and you get inspired. And it, it carries on when you go home as well. It keeps me active. It means that I'm fighting for a better country as well as better workplaces 
and for my what colleagues to reap the benefits and be part of the union as well. And young people are always exploited. Employers deliberately don't pay them properly, don't give them rightful contracted hours and undermine health and safety completely. So to look at where most of it began and how it affects and how our struggles haven't really changed so much. It's lovely. And, uh, yeah, entertainment and the, the political speech. Over Jeremy will come and arouse the crowd, as we know, like Tony Benn used to. Momentum and obviously he'll be leading the uh, Jeremy Corbyn chants as well. Uh, we got someone on the Seven Nation Army riff uh, to help that out. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to that. Go, Jeremy. We need a few more people to make it proper. Go, Jeremy Corbyn. The youth section that is under 80. <laughs> they have to transform it. Hundreds of people that went out doing stuff and doing things that you know, our generation struggles with, your Facebook and iTunes and YouTube and WhatsApp and Instagram, I know the names, but that's all. That generation, that's the that's the, the generation that has to be one to, you know, and they'll have different ways of doing things, probably, other than coming to Marquis in fields. <laughs> the future is theirs, and it's good to see so many of them both here over the weekend and in the union and supporting the Labour Party. I think there's an energy in the Labour movement generally, yeah. It's great. It's like the best fun I've ever had. And I've noticed in general, you know, there's more young people here with, you know, rude things about the Tories written on their T-shirts, which is great. <laughs> well, being trade union officers, we don't drink. Uh, <laughs> and we're on the move, aren't we? We're on the way forward, not backwards. We'll be helping out with uh, Southern Regions banners down there. So it'll be a good chance for you know, the members to meet with or the brand secretaries and the people in the union as well and pay their respects to the martyrs. It's kind of fun, we want to, we want to advertise ourselves, we want everyone to know where we are and we ain't going away. People that have been here probably from the time when the festival was just a group of people in the field uh, right through to first timers uh, from the branches across the union and I think yeah everyone's going down to be quite excited. I think we've been told that you can barely move across the site when, when most people come down. So. People are working and they work hard and they labour but you know there's times when everyone comes together to celebrate you know, a better world, better society, um, you know, looking after each other. It's nice to come away and, and, and appreciate our Haitian movement uh, and, and learn all about what Jainism and socialism is all about. You've got to appeal to younger people, you've got to appeal to the wider public as well, which is why developing it into a festival is sensible in my view. It's the right thing to do, but we mustn't forget the primary reason why we're here. We are going to have here uh, ex-members who are 80 years old. We don't have them coming down just to have a look round. We've got them volunteering on the gates here, making sure traffic and people are safe. First time I came here it was Jim Callahan and uh, my colleague who's behind you, you want to talk to, can probably tell you a few more stories about Jim Callahan. I've been coming since the uh, 1970s when I became the local officer for the GMB in the area. We've got them coming down to enjoy a barbecue this evening and we've got them coming down to partake in the festival march tomorrow through the Tall Piddle Town in remembrance of those people who gave us the right to belong to a trade union. Just like it, I'm a retired officer, it's an opportunity to see uh, old friends and, uh, and, uh, and colleagues. That's what it's about, the young, the old, because once we're breathing the air in this world, we need the assistance and the company of communities, and this is a community in itself. The march is the best thing of all, even better than the speeches. Yeah, you can't beat the march. All told, Bunnell's the greatest event of the Labour movement. Every year, thousands come to enjoy themselves and uh, remember the people who helped to found the trade union movement. A lot of GMB members, a lot of banners, but doing the union proud. And particularly the martyrs. I'm feeling excited, it's the first time at Toll Puddle, so definitely excited to join the march and be part of our history really. Yeah, it's very different. I've often marched through like towns like London and where I'm from, but it's a bit different marching through a village. It's uh, nice though, a nice atmosphere. young members from all around the country that have taken part in our political school and uh, now joining the march. They're over there holding all the banners and uh, yeah, they've all re really enjoyed themselves and taken a lot from the weekend, so all positive stuff. <laughs> It was a fantastic day. This was 
the GMV. It's glad to see a lot of people turn out as well for the Masters of the when, when you're a trade unionist, he never leaves you. You'll, you'll always fight continually for, for the greater good of the workers. A tough enough job and it, you'll only ever get harder. Next year we'll hopefully have some new faces, some young members who might not have been active before, uh, get them involved and they can find out the history of what they're getting involved in. And you can join World Teacher to put up a gazebo.